we are also holding a series of meetings. Just uh, on Thursday, we also had a meeting of some flyers and the TPP because the whole thing from Takum Usa, it escalated. Uh, it also came up in, in Bali local government uh, between the thieves and, the, and also the flyers. But if you were in our meeting on Thursday, you will sympathize with our country. Because the Fulanis are victims of these bandits, just as Captain Aliu has said. Everybody is a bandit. Look, we have to be very sincere with ourselves and tell ourselves the truth in this country, that we have to wake up as leaders of this country. I remember early last year, when, uh, when the Sambisa forest was being, uh, was being cleared of, uh, of the Boko Haram elements, we started seeing signs of massive movements of strange people into Taraba State. Our governor cried out and said, look, we can't imagine these things happening. But unfortunately, even at the National Assembly level, when one of our legislators raised an alarm, another one rose to condemn him. It was unfortunate, but today everybody is a victim. We, tra we tend to attach religion to, to all sorts of things in this country when we cannot separate from one another. Whatever your, your ethnic group, whatever your religion, we will live together. But to see what is happening. Our governor gave that warning early last year. People were brought into Taraba in trucks. And some even came with letters from DPOs and village heads from other states that they, they had been asked to relocate to Taraba State. And when our governor raised the alarm, everybody said we have freedom of movement. For goodness sake, why would we be that insensitive to issues that have to do with the security of our people? Is that what the, the, this constitution uh, I mean, refers to as freedom of movement when we have zero security issues of this nature? I expe we expected, our government expected, that that should have been a very serious issue that the government should have taken up even at the national level. But unfortunately for us, we place sentiments into it. Today, everybody is a victim. Our deputy governor's wife, he's a full animal, our deputy governor's mother was kidnapped. He's a full animal. And these bandits were the ones that kidnapped her. Okay. Today, even the Fulanis are crying that some of these people come in with cows without horns, but move back with cows with horns because they are engaged in rapings, robberies, and even cattle wrestling. Everybody is a victim. So okay. we have to begin to do exactly what Tarabaste is doing. I want to thank God for our governor because he has clearly understood these issues, and because of the open-mindedness and the fairness with which he's dealing with this issue, every victim, every tribe now understands that he is committed to this. And the, our meeting the two days ago was a wonderful one because right now, the Fulanis, the thieves, the Jukons are out talking to their people. And we're trusting God that with the efforts he is making, very soon the whole thing will come down. But honestly speaking, as a people in this country, we must define this problem and we must also as a people decide that we have to tackle this harassment issue. Okay. Unless we do that as a nation, okay. we will still be in problems. Mr. Vatsa, um, what is the Niger State government doing to help those in uh, Mokwa local government where this sad incident took place? Yeah, His Excellency, security, security is the front burner of his administration. The security of life and property of Niger Light is in the front burner of Governor Abukar Sadiq Sanibelo administration. He has help the community this incident happen of taking relief material to them the place is in mokwa local government but it's closer to catch our local government so all the victims because when we went there if you look at the sun of today you will see all of them are in Kenu. like i told you it's a very difficult terrain you can only assess that environment you can go to that community only by water through river niger so we have moved them to a safe place in Kachar local government, they are all there, where relief material have been given to them. And the remaining people who are left in the community that have decided to stay, the security has been provided to them. And His Excellency have made a special request to the IG that except the IG come to the aid of his administration by providing special police. When I mean special police, the marine police, to be able to, because it's a very difficult terrain, you have to go there by water, so you need special trained police to be able to mount that area, more so that we border with Kwara State and Kogi State, because the River Niger is our boundary, and the village is just at the tip of the bank of the River Niger. So we have made that request, and IG has accepted to send in 
Marine Police to Niger State to be able to do it. But His Excellency again have reached out to the community heads, to village heads and even to the emirs, to be able to talk to them. We are mobilizing people in our radio, we're communicating to them plenty of publicity so that we don't have an attack. The present attack will not help the situation. And we are reaching out to the village head, to the community leaders, and even to the elites in our communities. We are reaching out to them. We've been having seminars with them that there is need for us to live together and to coexist. Because when this incident happened, Fulani start moving out, both from Kacha local government, from Mokwa local government, from Badegi. Because just like my colleague has mentioned, those who we now come to be victim are everybody. Everybody is a victim of this incident. But the real people who carry out this attack, they are no more in that vicinity. They've moved away. And we are doing everything. His Excellency have sent medical experts to go there because we are suspecting that we're going to have epidemic because there are some people who got drawn in River Niger as I'm talking to you. The last time we were there with His Excellency and the Commissioner of Police, all of us are there in the community, they do told us that about five people have not been seen because they run into the River Niger and they cannot swim. So you need to have medical personnel to go to assist in case there is any outbreak. And that is what His Excellency is doing and he's going there himself because he's interested in the life and property of his people. Okay. He's doing everything okay. possible to see that this situation is being brought to book. Okay. But one thing I want us to know about Niger State, Niger State today have the total landmass of this country, 10%. We border with Benin Republic in New Busa, in Borgu local government. We have Kwara, we have Benue, we have Kogi, we have Kebi, the landmass of Niger. We are appealing to federal government to assist us with more policemen because we have vast land. We have forest where the kidnappers are in Saminaka and Lapai local government. We have the Briningwari where the kidnappers are equally there. It's, it's a very big forest. So that is the problem the administration is facing in terms of security. Because okay. Of you, you have, Niger State has that landmass, Captain Aliyu, with board, bordering several states and bordering some countries. But the question I want to ask is, why does it look as 